Oh, oh, Ains cans. If he an op, I'ma blam me. Spin through a spot with his Mossberg that I caught from my family. How about yeah. knock on the door like I got boxes of cans? Huh? Just oh. ready to put a pump to authentic body. I'm Dr. Miami. Ah. We used to rap it like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened? I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. Fucking gram, you know my shit on fire, son. Y'all niggas playing, man. Follow a nigga, man. What up? City, like you got something against me. Uh -huh. He doesn't lick. Let him quick. He start tumbling quick. Uh -huh. He could never be Curtis Jackson, son. He got every buck from the fit. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Get the fuck out of here, man. Like you didn't even gotta beat, man. No, that's disrespectful, man. I'm not watching that, man. Why are you doing that like that? You ain't got to do it. Yo, yo, you already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all, bruh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chef Trez, Chantrez Jackson, that man is back. And before we even get started with the Chef Trez versus Authentic, which is crazy, I want y'all to check out the sponsor battle of the day, which is C-Dot versus Chef Trez of Body Bag Battle League. 32 bars presented Glocktober. And um, it's a it's a battle between these two, and they was getting it in, you know what I mean? Like I, I rock with C Dot because I had put another one of his battles up, and now he battles Chef Trez, which is right in the same mold of the blog that I'm talking about. So peep his joint too. Here's a little quick clip, and I'll put the uh, link in the in the pinned comment description and shit. Fuck with me. Ready for winners and three of them things. Whoa. Upper thirty, double jacket. He ain't ready for winners and three of them things. Lane, boy, stop. I freestyle too. I can really fire off tops. Oh. I mean, little niggas running around bad as Chuck, letting that shit lift big six. I mean, who you with, kid, kid? So <laughs> what if I take his neck and snap it with a little twist? See, I'm not oh. Back. Like, like, I want y'all, I just want y'all to know. He has a battle on the URL app right now where he's doing a crucible final exam. And he is battling against a kid named Authentic. You know what I'm saying? He do his thing. I, I haven't, I don't really, I'm not too familiar. You know what I mean? It was a different kind of style. But at the same time, the, I can see that, you know, P, Bills, everybody that's doing this whole scouting thing, they looking for like some different shit. You know what I'm saying? Because in the last couple of runs, a lot of these niggas been all sounding like, you know what I'm saying, same old shit. Like they was trying to find a little different, a little different dish. Nobody wants spaghetti every day of the week, right? Yeah, so ding. Um, so he sound different, but he got a flow to him too, you know what I'm saying? And he can rebuttal some shit too. And, and he gonna be all right, but the nigga shit, when I tell you this nigga Chef Tress, bro, he is fucking wildin', bro. I'm talking about, I ain't know he was gonna come back like this. I did not know that he was going to come back like this. Like, I knew where he was at before, where he was kicking down doors and running through the league and trying to, like, you know, get with the big niggas, battling JC earlier and his shit, battling, you know, the Mike P's and battling all these names. And he's just running. And I think on the app, he's still 6 0 because he used it in the battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. According to the app, I'm 6 0 too. That shit was crazy. He had a line like that in the fucking battle. He was like, yo, you a crip, bro, dude? <laughs> You according to the album six so I was like, yo, he's wild inside. Yeah, you gotta see this shit, bro. This nigga Chef Trez is losing his fucking mind again. And he got nothing nothing next. Listen, nothing that I ain't got nothing against you. I love what you do, but what I seen for Chef Trez right now, huh? He getting with some people. He is definitely getting with some people. But I want to talk about this and I want to talk about something else. But I'm going to, I'm going to put both of them in the same spectrum because I want y'all thoughts and y'all opinions because this made a little traction yesterday, you know what I mean? Uh, so Chef Trez is online and, you know, he's you know he's doing his thing. Now he's back in the um, URL. He's getting back on his URL shit. I think Chef Trez had unfollowed me at one time. We follow each other again now, but, you know, when you're out of sight, out of mind, I always had love for the nigga. So even if he did unfollow me, I wouldn't really care because emotions ain't in that shit. It's like my nigga, you know what I mean? I'm, it's all good. But we good now, you know what I'm saying? I've been speaking to him dialogue and shit, seeing that, you know, he building bag and you know, he, Chef Trez is a wild nigga. I'ma just let y'all niggas know. Anybody from up there in North Atlanta know that snow, that river right there, up, 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 the North, nigga. That nigga was a wild nigga, man. And, you know, he made a lot of good decisions to get his life together. And, you know, he had health issues and shit. 
So he could never really get his career where he wanted to go because he came out fast. He was one of them niggas. He was on bullpen. He was off bullpen. He was here there. Like, Trez was one of them niggas that he didn't give a fuck. You had that bread, he was there. And didn't understand a lot of the schematics and shit that, you know, you got, if you, if you are more susceptible to holding your shit in one spot, you'll grow more, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas will be more likely to see you. But if nigga know he can get you for 1500 here, 1500 there, 1500 they're gonna keep you at that level forever. Nigga gonna have 1500 for you every month. Because, you know, niggas can put their bread together, 555, five, five, oh shit, okay, we can chef tries to battle him, him, him. But he not gonna build like that. Him coming back, his wind, he's, his flow sounds crazy, his wind did, he's still doing rebuttals at a high level. And he was, a, he was definitely a good, good signing for these niggas to pick up. But uh, he, he got into it with Verb, right? Him and Verb going back and forth and shit, right? So Verb said some shit like, <laughs> like, you win, you have two good showings, and then I, I'll battle you or some shit like that. And, like, when, because, <laughs> you know, Verb record on the app is, is wacky. I think it's like 1 in 12 or some shit. Chaos, Kid Chaos put it as his profile picture. So anyway, you know, uh, Verb don't really get, win, but I know it's, you know, the fan base, and then sometimes it's material, yada, 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 so... He don't be getting no wins on the app. Like, I don't even know who his only win on the app is. They should do, like, a free pizza to whoever gets his fucking name with his win, because I don't know. Anyway, so, um, but Verb is a legend, though. So even if his record is bad, he's still a legend. Niggas is still going to respect. He got new music out. New music is fire. So niggas is always going to respect Verb, like, regardless of whether, how you feel. He gets a certain level. He comes into the game with a certain level of respect. Like, it's like basketball. If you go into a basketball game and you ain't got a lot of respect on the team, you just start jacking shots, they're going to pull your ass out. But if you come into the game with this level of respect, you coming right back into the flow of things. You catch that bitch right in the middle, you can pull right up, make or miss, get back down court, nigga. Y'all know my body. I'm going to do it again, too. You know what I'm saying? So he coming with a certain level of respect. Um, he was basically like, but, but, the, but his current run is not really that good. So I said I, said I didn't think that Chef Trez is a I gotta battle twice to get verb type of nigga. Like, I just don't think he's at that space. I think he's past that. Cause if you look at Trez's resume, already battled DNA, already battled Loso, already battled Danny, already battled Sharon, I mean, already battled Thesaurus. Like, he got mad names. Like, he battled, like, he, he don't need, I don't think he be needing to do feeder battles. Like, okay, we're gonna build suspense. So we wanna get you, Sheed. If we're trying to get you to build collector, you gotta beat this guy, then this guy, then this guy. No, like, that, he's nice. If she is nice, put him where he needs to be. All this little in-between gene shit don't matter. I love what they doing with the Kid Slade, putting him in front of Rock. Throw that nigga out there now. I don't need to see Kid Slade, no disrespect to nobody. I don't need to see him battle no bunch of mid-tier niggas just to show me they can get Rock next summer. No, give them what they want right now. Fuck it, just line them up. Christmas is coming, get you a bag, get your bars off. Hey, swing for the fences, you might win. So, um, you know, you got Verb. He's basically saying that Trez is like, <laughs> is not really what he thinks he is or whatever the case may be. And I just was like, I respectfully disagree because I'm like, bro, this is Trez here. The only thing that ever stopped Trez, and I'm pretty sure he'll agree because he's probably going to watch this, is that his health, you know what I'm saying, was definitely the thing that was weighing on him. And just being disciplined, you know what I'm saying? And being able to be focused on what you need to be focused on and handling your business and just taking care of what you need to take care of. Like, you can't rap on one league if, you know, this league don't rock with them. You can't be like, fuck it, I'm going to just do it anyway. Like, you can't do that type of shit because it's all business now. And people be saying, oh, this new contract, contract, contract. Bro, if you can't get in the league any other way, you're gonna have to, you can't go in the NBA and be like, fuck it, I'm going to just play for two weeks. Then I'm going over to Taiwan. Nigga, everybody who stepped on that floor is doing what? Signing a contract. Because it's legalities and shit that's involved. If he's focused and doing things the right way, I think that he could, uh, he could go pretty far. Now, like I said, I didn't get to watch the whole battle with him in Authentic. Once I got through Chef Trez's shit, I'm like, yo, this is, but he's going crazy. I had to stop what I was doing and was like, no, I'm talking about this shit right now. Now, I see the scores on the app, Chef Trez is winning by a lot. So if I never get back to this battle, I'm pretty sure I know what happened because uh, it was like 190 to like 15 or some shit like that. So that lets me know how this battle went. Um, but 
Yeah. There's some other cats that's in um in Crucible too, man, um, that I watched. And I was gonna do blogs and shit, but it don't really matter. I'd rather just talk about it right now. I seen Loso battle the Clutch nigga. Clutch be having he got a little potential to him. I like some of the shit that he be doing, but he got he gotta tighten up though, like cause you can't do all that shit, get to a haymaker, and it just don't mean nothing. Like, it's just like, nigga, your haymaker was like nothing. Like, but he had some of them that was fired in front of, in front of street hymns, in front of Charlie Clips. Like, he had some shit in there that was fire. I like that nigga, man. He was all right. Uh, I seen Clean Paper vs. Ease. Ease took a little used to get me getting used to and shit, but when I kind of, like, got with his flow, I understood what he was talking about. I fucked with it. I'm sure it could be developed and he could potentially grow some more. But Clean was in a fucking different bag. Clean, Clean fucked him up. <laughs> with that being said, Clean fucked him up all the way. Uh, no way. Whew. Yeah. We'll wrap. <laughs>